Hello guys, today we are back with another tutorial and in this video we are going to show you how you can install WordPress on localhost on your computer using XAMPP. So let's get started. So open up your browser and on your search bar type in download XAMPP. And there are a lot of links over here but the first link that is the Apache friends, click on this link. This is the official download link of XAMPP. So these are the versions of XAM that are available for download. So usually it is the safest to download the latest version, which is the 8.1.6, which runs the latest version of PHP. But there are also older versions available. So you can download those if you are if you have built a project that uses the previous or older version of PHP. But we are selecting the latest version. So it is 164 MB in size. Just click on the download button to start the download. And it has started to download. So if you have a faster internet connection, it, it won't take much long. So let me continue this video when the download is finished. Okay, so the download is finished. Now we are going to open the folder. So this is the file that we downloaded. We are going to double click on it to open it up. Okay, the file is now opening. Okay, so you might see a warning message like this. Don't worry, just click on OK. This will not cause any problem. And now click on Next. Now you can see all the applications that will be installed. We don't need all of them, so I'm going to uncheck some of them. Tomcat, Mercury Mail Server. We also don't need FileZilla, FakeSendMail, or Webalizer. You can also keep these on. They won't cause you any problem. Just click on Next, and we're going to install it on C Drive. Click on Next, Next, and we're going to uncheck this, and Next, Next. Okay, so it's, it's installing now. So as it installs, let me explain why you need XM to launch your WordPress website locally. So WordPress is written in PHP, which is a server-side programming language. And your browser doesn't understand PHP code unless it is compiled through a server. And XAMPP provides us that server using the Apache program, which is an open source server architecture for your computer. Another thing that WordPress needs is a database. It needs database to keep track of posts, username, passwords, and other things. XAMPP also runs MySQL, and you can manage all your databases using the PHP MyAdmin. So our uh, installation is taking a lot of time, so I will get back to you when the installation finishes. So our installation is completed, and now you can see that it's asking us that do you want to start the control panel right now? I'm going to uncheck this because I want to show you how you can open up the control panel manually. Click on finish to exit the setup. And since we have installed XAMPP in, on C drive, we're going to click on it. And you can see that there's an XAMPP folder over here. We're going to go inside this folder and you can see there are so many files. Uh, but you don't need to be worried about that. We will only be working with one file and that is the XAMPP control.exe just right click on the file and click on run as administrator now this will open up the XAMPP control panel so from here you can see the apache mysql and filezilla servers you can click on the start button to start up the services but a problem with this is that each time you open up XAMPP you have to uh, initiate or start the servers uh, manually so we are going to actually automate this process to automate it, just simply click on config and then select Apache and MySQL and select save. Now I'm going to start up the services. As you can see, the services have started up. Now I'm going to stop it and exit this program. I'm going to reopen it as administrator and you can see that the project has started up automatically. Now I'm going to minimize this program and go back to our browser. Okay, so we're back in our browser. Now, on the URL bar, we're going to type localhost and hit enter. So here you can see that we have successfully entered the Apache web server. You can see that XAMPP 8.1.6 has been 
installed and now all we have to do is download WordPress so to download WordPress open up another tab and type in wordpress.org and you will land on this website from here you can download the latest version of WordPress just click on get WordPress and scroll down and click on this button download WordPress and your download should automatically start and give it some time uh, the download will finish within a few minutes or seconds depends on how fast your internet is so after it's finished we are now going to open this up you can see that WordPress 6.0 is over here so I'm going to open up this compressed file to show you what it has so it has the WordPress folder which consists of so many WordPress files that is required for the website to run so I'm going to copy it you can also cut it if you want but I'm copying it and going to C drive and the XM folder and we're going to look for a folder called htdocs so here is the folder go inside it and paste the file over here now click on extract and after the extraction is completed you can delete the zip file and this is our WordPress folder now you can rename it into anything you want but remember whatever name you give it it will be the directory that you need to enter uh, that you need to enter in the URL bar so for this demonstration I'm keeping it only WordPress just to show you so now that is it done we're going back to our browser and let me close this up so we need a database in order to install our WordPress so to create a database go to phpMyAdmin click on this link and here it is this is PHP my admin page you can create databases from here manage your database download your database export your database do a lot of things so click on this database panel so to create a database give your database a name we for this demonstration we are going to give it a simple name let's say WP database so that is going to be the name of our database and for this option it's there's no need to change it just click on create and just like that your WordPress database has been created so now we have to connect this database with our WordPress so how are we going to do that I'll show you just open up a new tab and click on the URL bar and type in localhost and the name of our website so the name of the folder was WordPress so give the name whatever you have chosen and hit enter and if everything was correct you will see the WordPress installation page so from here select your language and then click on continue and then you will see this page and it says that we need the following things the database name the username the password database host table prefix we have these information just click on let's go okay so the name of the database as you remember was WP database and the username would be root and leave the password field empty but for some other applications it might be set to root by default and for the other fields leave it as it is and click on submit so you're now ready to run the installation for WordPress click on this button and the installation asks you to select a, a site title uh, you can change this information later on so for username and password so these are the credentials that you need to log into your WordPress website since we are running WordPress on localhost we don't need a strong password or a unique username so we are going to select admin for username and a weak password like one two three four five if you are in a live server a strong password and a unique username is recommended so after it is done click on confirm use of weak password then just type in an email address the search engine visibility doesn't actually matter since we're running it on localhost search engines can't actually index your website even if it wanted to so click on install WordPress 
So give it some time and your WordPress has been installed. Now click on this login button and now we are going to use the admin that was our username and our password was 12345 and click on login give it some time to validate and that's it we have just created our WordPress website on a local host you can see all the information is over here you can see the version is over here the options over here you can disable these options from here but it is highly recommended that you keep all of this information on your dashboard as it lets you know the overall condition of your website you can also visit your website from here and you can see how your website looks with the current theme you can change the theme as well so that is basically how you can install WordPress on your local host using XAMPP I hope this video was helpful to all of you if you have any questions you can ask on the comment section and do share and like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this thank you for watching everyone we'll see you in the next video